So we're going to tackle the classic fizz buzz problem. So here's the problem. Here's the uh, coding description. Write a program to print to the screen numbers 1 to n, starting from 1 all the way to the last number. For multiples of 3, however, print fizz. For multiples of 5, print buzz. And for multiples of both 3 and 5, print fizz buzz. So 3 is a multiple of 15. So through 15 goes in, 3 goes into 15, so fizz. 5 goes into 15, buzz. 6 goes into, uh, 3 goes into 6, right? For multiples of 3. 6 is a multiple of 3. Beautiful, so print fizz. 3 goes into 9, fizz. 10 goes into, 5 goes into, into 10. 12, 3 goes into 12, and 15, and both 3 and 5 goes into 15. So that's the whole goal. 3 goes into 3. 5 goes into 5, and 3 goes into 6, nine go 3 goes into 9, 5 goes into 10, 3 goes into 12, 15 goes into 3, but 3 and 5 both goes into 15, so fizz bus. So this is the classical fizz bus problem. It's, it's not difficult, it's just tricky, that's all. This is why this problem is usually used a lot. Okay, so we're going to start by, I'm going to do a self-calling function. So the self calling function basically calls itself. So I don't I don't need to console that log. So we have our for loop. Start with one. I is less than or equal to the number fifteen. I plus plus. We're gonna test for fifteen first. Check for fifteen. Then we're gonna check for three. This is the number that comes right after. Then we're going to check for 5. But now I'm going to check for 3 again. I'm going to tell you why. Check for 3 again. So, so let's check for 15. If i remainders 3 gives you 0 and i remainder 5 gives you 0. Print to the screen, fizz buzz, and then increment. Go to the next one. That's what that is. Go to the next one. So we're gonna check for three. And three is fizz. Go to the next one. Now we're gonna check for five. This is buzz. Now we go on to, before I even check the three, I'm going to show you why we need to. And this is the else. So we're going to say if i is greater than number, break the statement. So if, basically, if i goes past 15, it shouldn't because of the for loop. But when you get to 15, the reason why I need this, look at this. When I get to 15, right? So when i is 15, because i equals num. When I get to 15, it's going to go to fizz buzz. Right, so 15. Now, the, here's the issue if I'm at no, actually, no, if I am at at uh, let's see, if I'm at 14, 14 will fill all this test case, <laughs> and then 14 is still not greater than 15, so now it's 15, right? So now this is 15, 15 is going to print fist buzz. But what's going to happen here? It's going to go up by 1 to 16. So this fails for 16. This fails for 16. But now I need to break the loop. Because if I don't break the loop, it's going to print 16 out. <laughs> That's fine. Else. Console.log. Alright. Okay, so. I haven't checked for 3 again, but I'm going to show you why I need to. So let's run this. Node. So three, as we have, works. As uh, we can see that here, three is fine. Five, but six doesn't work. Look at that. Six supposed to work. Six supposed to give us fizz because three goes into six, but it's not showing here. Fifteen works. Fizz buzz. Beautiful. So the only issue we have here is with six. 
And for the reason is that, let me, let me tell you, so when we get to 5, right? So let's say we had 5. This this fails for 5, because and means both of them has to be true. This fails for 5. This passes for 5. But what happens here? Increments to 6. <laughs> Increments to 6. So it prints out 6 without actually testing for 6. And that's what happens. So there's no way to go back into the loop to check for 6. So in order to do that, we test for 3 again. Now, the same. that's why we put the 3 test here. Again, as you can see, after we do 3, we check for 5. Then after we check 5, we check for 3. If you want to check for 5 first, and you do 3, but you still have to do 5 after. I promise you, you can check it out and you'll see. So, and this should fix the problem. Let's try it out now. And as you can see, six works. Thank you. So the classical fizz bus problem has been solved. You can try any number, 45. 45 would work as well. Try save it. Yeah, it should work. Where's my 45? No test. 15, 16. Why does it stop at 16? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. That's because I used 15 here regardlessly. No. Okay, we caught that error. Thank you. That was good. So, there we go. 45. Works perfectly. This was all the way through. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new.